Shalom, Shalom, Kohalo Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh, Bashim Makak Brush, Dava Anna, to the elders, apostles, and great millstone, and peace and salutations to the elect of the nation of Israel, and to speckled bird Israelites that are scattered abroad that look like the heathen nations to y'all, say Shalom, and um, Shalom to all you brothers and sisters that may be out there listening to, learn to these videos. Shalom arm to all you brothers and all you Aki and this out there labor and teaching the hundred percent truth out there on the highways and hedges, trying to wake up the elect of Israel in these latter days, because that's who matters. Um two thirds of our people don't matter. Um and also want to say that the Israelites who got a so called black, so called Hispanic, um, so called Native American, Puerto Rican, Dominican, Jamaican, Haitian, um, Guatemala, the Panamanians, um, those are the Israelites always have been and always will be. As y'all can see, you know, I have an article put up on the um, screen from End Time Headlines um, <clears throat> concerning the World Economic Forum, you know, Esau Edom, which is the head of that, which is ruling the earth right now, which is the biblical nationality of the so-called white man. And it says the World Economic Forum has invented a new word to describe the extreme chaos that is gripping our planet. Now, the scriptures speak on that, right, as far as chaos, you know, and just and all hell breaking loose. Look at that in uh, Second Ages 15, right? And, and these devils are, you know, creating the chaos, man, you know, but it's, it's a part of it. It's the Second Ages 15, verse 14. It says, Woe to the world and to them that the world are in, for the sword and the destruction draw up nigh. And one people shall stand up and fight against another with swords in their hands. You see, it says, For there should be sedition among men invading one another, and they shall not regard their kings nor princes, and the courts of their actions shall stand in their power. You see? Um, so it's it's scriptural, man. It's Bible prophecy um, about, you know, the, the earth being in a state of turmoil, destruction, you know, just all out hell. It's, it's prophecy, right? And the WEF, man, that's in the scriptures too. Them having these different meetings. Let's go to that because, you know, um, it speaks of that in the book of Psalms, right? Let's go to Psalms 2 and verse 2. It says, um, I'm, I'm going to read verse 1. It says, why do the heathen rage and the people imagine a vain thing, right? What's vain is what plans these devils got, man. They They got plans to... See hip, see hip everybody, which is the MOTB. You know, it says the kings of the earth set themselves and the rulers take counsel together against the Lord and against his anointed, saying, Let us break their bands asunder and let's cast away their cords from us. You see, and these devils, man, what do they want to do, man? They, they want to disconnect us from Yahweh Shemel Shah any way possible, mainly us Israelites, man, because they, you know, Esau knows he's Esau, man. He's top elites, man. That's over this WEF, the World Economic Forum. And you got all these different nations that are there. You know, um, their main purpose is to dis disconnect us from Yahabash, from Yahweh Shai, man. You know, and to, and to just ruin the world, you know. Um, but the scriptures say that the Lord is going to de destroy them that destroy the earth. You know, and it will, what, what's going on in the world right now with people dying at a rapid rate, you know, engineering, famines, inflation, the economies collapsing. Countries going into all out chaos. These devils are behind this, man. You know, they call it World Economic Forum like they're there to help. No, they're there to, to, to uh, not help. You know, these devils are, are causing everything that's happening around the world to happen. I mean, of course, it's the Lord. Yes, it's the Lord. You know, the Lord said, um, let me get Isaiah. The Lord is using these devils, man. So I ain't gonna give them credit like that because it's really how about Shemir was shot, but, um, let me get that in the book of Isaiah 45, right? Verse 7 says, I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord, do all these things. So first and foremost, this Shabbat Shabbat was shy. Um, that's causing this chaos. You know, because um, I think today is the 17th, and they just started their meeting. You know, um, I think yesterday, the 16th, they were supposed to have, they're supposed to have like a three or four day meeting about you know, what they plan on doing in, for the next year or so, you know, and, and if you pay attention, if you're on your watch, you know what I'm saying, 
Um, you know, these devils don't have no good intentions for the world, man. They, they're they going to present it to you as if it's a way to help everybody and, you know, it's, it's there to benefit you, and it, but it's not the case, man. That's not the case because, you know, they, they plan on bringing in a new digital system. In order to do that, they got to class the old one, you know, and that new digital system is giving it complete control. That's what they want. You know, this devil, um, what's one of them devil's name, um, Naval, Yaval or something, I don't give a fuck how you say his name, he a heathen, and the Lord gonna destroy him, man, and all these other heathens, man, and this dude on the screen, Klaus Schwab, Swab hit, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> uh, like it, you know, um, you know, the, the Lord gonna get to get, to get you devils, man, after he's done using you, you know, for, for his purpose, you know, he gonna, he gonna, he gonna destroy you, you know, um, but these devils, man, they want that complete control because that guy, um, Yaval, Yaval Noah Harari, he said humans are not hackable animals. He said this thing that you call a soul or a spirit that you have in your body, you don't have that. There's no God. We are God. He basically said that. So, uh, you know, uh, these devils uh, have it in their mind that they're the most high, man. You know, the scriptures speak on that too, but these devils are not the most high. Right, and the fact that, you know, these people, these devils are coming out and saying that, you know, hey, we're in chaos right now, we're getting, we're descending to chaos, man, they're letting, they're letting it be known. They're letting it be known. That just proves how much, uh, how much at the end we are, how close we are. Man, let me get this in the book of, uh, Second Edges chapter 9, I think it's, uh, verse, what is it, verse, uh, 5, it says, For like it's all that is made in the world at the beginning and the end, and the end is manifest, you see? So, um, you know, the end is manifest, man, you know, the end is manifest, and I just want to show y'all this, um, you know, these, these devils got a doomsday clock, you know, I know the brother, um, always said it can't, man, you know, pretty much like, you know, these devils got a doomsday clock, why would you make that if you plan on prolonging your kingdom and you planning on a future, you, you devils know in the deep down, the bottom of your heart, you know that, this thing is going to destroy. You know the Lord exists, man. But through that pride, hey, they think that they're going to, you know, get to get so far. They think that they can do it, you know. But, you you, should, you know, it's, it's that spirit is there, man, that you know something is going to come up against you, which, which is the Lord, Yahweh Shai. You know, and the heavenly host, the angels, man, with the chariots, with the so-called UFOs. You know, why would you create your own, why would you create a doomsday clock if you're thinking that you're going to rule forever or you're the most high? These devils don't know what side they on, man. You know, and you, and you can see they're supposed to move it again on the 24th, you know, which I don't know, you know, what's planning on, what they plan on happening, what they plan on doing that day. Maybe something could pop off because these devils, you know, they deal with numerology and dates and times and seasons and stuff like that. Um, everything, you know, everything is, uh, everything is, um, you know, it's like everything, you know, means something to these devils. You know, um, I don't even know what day 24th is. <laughs> Salaki, um, let me go to it. What day is that? I don't even know. That's, that's next Tuesday. We'll, you know, we'll see if something happens, you know. Um, but yeah, every year, you know, pretty much some, it started, it created in 1947. Um, <laughs> Salaki, um, now we in the year 2023, so it's not even on it. So they changing it again this year. So, you know, t hey, we're so close to the time of the Lord coming back. It, it's it's not even funny, man. You know, because they, they wasn't changing it every year, every two years like they are now. Now, y'all as y'all can see from 2018 to now, they've changed, changed it every other year, damn near. Or they moved the clock up, like, you know, further to midnight, because midnight is basically when... You know, it's supposed to be the end of the world, which it's not the end of the whole world, it's the end of the day world. Because when World War Three pop off, the Yahweh is going to come back, man. He's going to beam up the elect of Israel, man. This is not a fairy tale. This is going to happen. It's biblical, man. The Bible, whatever, everything that's in the Bible is true, right? Brothers, my brothers have had dreams about it. My rib has had dreams about it. Brothers in the camp, you know, the Lord has poured out his spirit to, uh, you know, Israel, man. Even to you heathens, you, there's heathens that's had dreams about you know, taking a sea hip and destruction happening. There's heathens that have had dreams about the end. So the end all be all is not 
you know, the the end of everything and he made his entire entire existence. You know, the water you have about shot for the comforter, you know, because we know that that's not it, man. We know that's the beginning of our 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 heaven, man, our world forever. You know, so it's comforting, man. This don't scare me, you know, because I know the truth. You know, um. <clears throat> Let me get this in, uh, let me get Romans 13 and 11, man, because, you know, the fact that they're moving it every year now, you know, starting from 2018, and we're literally at the time to where, you know, things are changing every day, and it could, it could happen any day. That's how close we are. You know, we're closer than we think we believe, and I'm going to get this in uh, Romans 13 and 11. It says, and that knowing the time, that now it's high time to awake out of sleep, right? For now is our salvation nearer than we believed, right? So, you know, like, as, like I said, as y'all can see, man, they, they move the they move in the doomsday clock again, you know? Uh, supposedly on January 24th, so that's a year. So, the Lord could come back, man, you know? He definitely come back in our lifetime, man. You know, no man still knows the time, you know, or hour or the, or the day of the month. Nobody knows there or the year. But the Lord gives us signs, clues, hints, and all the signs and hints are there, man. All the prophecies are pretty much coming to pass, man. I mean, there's only, you know, there's not really much left. I mean, there's, there's things to happen, big things to happen. But once those big things happen, like, you know, the MLTB, and that, you know, but, you know, there's, hey, we're still coming to the worst time ever yet. We're not there yet. But it's coming, man. So, man, we just got to brace ourselves, man. We got to get even closer to you. How about Shmi Shah? More than ever, man. Uh, you know, fast more, pray more, man. You know, because this could be the year, man. You know, or next year, Lord willing, we'll see. Um, let me get second edges 14 and 11, man. Because this, this, is a, this is a scripture that I like, you know. It says second edges chapter 14, verse 10. I'm going to start at verse 10. It says, for the world has lost his youth, and the times are beginning to wax old. You see? And as y'all can see on this doomsday clock, you know, how the years were pretty much spread apart as far as um them changing doomsday clock. People were, time was going by slower. Now time is going by way faster. You know, we're getting closer and closer to the end. That's why they because these prophecies are coming to pass. Right? It says, um, for the world is divided into 12 parts, and the tenth part of it is gone already, and half of a tenth part. You see, it says, and there remaineth that which is after the half of the tenth part. Now, therefore, set thine house in order, and reprove thy people in comfort of such of them as be in trouble, and now renounce corruption. And that's what we got to do, man. We got to renounce corruption, man. Stop thinking with the flesh, doing the things of the flesh, man. That we got to um, seek the Lord, man. Put off, you know, put off the weak nature, man. Stop worrying about, you know, the now. We got to worry about the things to come. Jacob's trouble. Our Lord coming back, you know, Lord willing, you know, we uh, get saved, you know, we're a part of the elect, Lord willing. That's what we're worried about, man. We're not worried about the society and prolonging our life here. No, y'all see, time is moving, moving by, man, and it ain't coming back. We're ready for the kingdom, Lord willing, but we know Jacob Sherman has to pop off, and it's going to be the worst time ever, but the Lord has his elect, man. But um, I'm going to close out, Lord willing, this video is edifying, man. I just wanted to bring this, you know, to the flock's attention to, you, you know, to the sheep's attention, man, because it's already here, man, you know. I mean, there's only, like I said, there's not much left to happen. I mean, you know, just gonna, you gonna, we're going to wake up one day and everything's going to be different. You're going to have to be on the move, man. It says that in second edges, so, you know, like I said, Lord willing, it's edifying. You know, I'm going to close out. Um, I'm going to give all honor and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Makak Barash. Um, double honor to the elders of the Great Millstone. Shalom to the elect. Wow, Baba Ball, Shalom.